All right, on the right we have Carson Collette, who's 17, and his 19-year-old brother, uh, Campbell's to his right. Um, Carson, we were talking off camera about your mom's 20-something year career. What do you say, about 27? Yeah, like 25, something like that. As a family therapist, and you've seen the work she's done, you've seen the impact she's had, and the help she's helped, uh, she's put into people's lives. What You said you want to go into that. Can you talk about why? Uh, yeah, I mean, my mom's always uh, shown me the way of love towards other people, especially with um, people she loves and people with either disabilities or behavioral problems or anything along those lines. And so I've always, it's always caught my eye and I've always had some love for that as well. So can you talk about like, what about it? Like, uh, in, in, what, why did you find, I mean, I know everybody likes to help people at a certain level. What about her work? What about her impact? Uh, like made you interested in that? Um, well just kids, kids that has, that have had rough lives and stuff. I mean, I've, we've gone through stuff in our lives and stuff. So I feel like just making sure kids are on the right path and have some love if they don't have love at home and stuff like that, then I think she's really brought that to my attention as well. So we did a story on you committing to APU and a lot of comments on it. A lot of people love your mom. And I know Janie Batista, who's a classmate of mine, said that your mom went is at like literally as many games as she can be at, whether it's hot summer, cold winter, whatever. Can you talk about how she would make, I mean, anything you guys needed, she's there, ball games. Can you talk about like having her around all the time? Yeah, well, I mean, she just, we just played Benita like two hours ago and she was, she was only there for like 30 minutes, but she wanted to make sure she was there to support me and my team and stuff. But no, she's there through everything. I mean, um, it's really touched my heart and I'm sure his. So uh, she's always just made an effort to always be there for us, especially because she's playing the role, mom and dad in our lives. So it's been huge. And then one other thing about that is that you're, you've committed to APU. You're doing pretty well in, your, in the grades, even though a lot of it's been at home during the pandemic. Has, has has she get been on you about grades or is that something you've always taken on yourself? Um, I mean, obviously she's on me about grades and stuff, but um, especially this year, it's kind of been more of a breeze than during school or at school. So um, this year I've kind of just taken it on by myself okay. and because it's senior year, it's not as hard as all the other years, it's kind of more smooth and stuff, but she's always been honest about academics. Okay. So Campbell, can you talk about at age 19 what you're doing right now in your life? Yeah, so right now I'm doing music production. Um, I'm working with a lot of artists from Sony Records, and uh, it's lots of fun. Yeah. What were you doing during, what sports did you play during high school? Yeah, so throughout high school I played football. I was an uh, offensive lineman. So you were never a baseball guy? I, You know, I was a baseball guy for a majority of my life until, I would say, I, I guess freshman year of high school. Okay. I realized I was like, I want to take a shot at football, and I loved it ever since. Yeah. Do you have a, do you ever come out and watch Carson play, or are you? Yeah, as much as I possibly can. Okay. Right now I'm taking as many classes as I possibly can um, as it's just college, so I'm on a full load as well as working, but I try to make as many games as I can make you know, throughout the week. So Carson was talking about how your mom's work impacted him and why he wants to get into that. Maybe that's not necessarily the field you want to get into, but what about her work do, inspires you? What about her work do you respect about your mom and others yeah, who do that? I think, honestly, all my work ethic comes from my mom. Um, you know, either the way she taught us structurally how to get everything done and put, put our put our 110 percent into it everything um i definitely got that from my mom you know like just seeing her work ethic even at home now because obviously the everything going on um non-stop she's working she never makes an excuse whether she's tired sick or whatever the case is and she always makes sure she gets everything done and more and you know with that load as well as taking care of us i think growing up i definitely recognize this and realize that there's no excuse you should got to work hard so i know your brother told me in an earlier conversation your mom told me this that you work your butt off a lot of different you wear a lot of different hats you, you like you were talking about music clothes you know you were talking about yeah. clothes is you you know is is watching your mom's uh example is that something that has definitely pushed you to this point yeah i think i what it was for me is that seeing you know seeing like that our family struggle for a little bit was an inspiration as far as putting that into like a positive impact on my family so i knew the less or the more I was independent, the less it was stressing my mom. So I realized at a young age, I was like, I gotta start making money. I gotta start working harder. I gotta start, you know, work, uh, building stuff for the future so I'm able to help her as well as Carson or whatever. Becoming a man before your time. Exactly, yeah. I think that was one of the things I never really realized as a kid because everything was just, that's all I knew. You yeah. Know, was becoming that, I guess, fatherly figure in a sense. Um, yeah, and I think it worked, worked out as far as like, I, it never really slowed me down in any way. Okay. I'm sort of